Microneedling. Helos community seems to have this love-hate relationship with it. On the one hand, the most hairy growth ever achieved in a Helos study came about from using microneedling paired with minoxidil. But on the other hand, you've got the sheer pain and irritation of a microneedling session combined with questions about the long-term safety of microneedling. So in this video, I wanna cover some alternatives to microneedling, which you can consider using instead. The treatments I'm going to talk about are believed to work through similar mechanisms, so you could get similar benefits without the massive pain and irritation. That's the idea anyway. Okay, let's jump in and take a look at some of the best microneedling alternatives to reverse hair loss. Even though it's a very simple idea, microneedling was only discovered fairly recently in the 1990s. It involves creating controlled microscopic wounds in the skin using a handheld instrument like a derm roller or a dermostamp. These tiny little injuries trigger the release of growth factors promoting skin repair without causing permanent scarring. Doctors initially used microneedling to improve scars from plastic surgery, and it remains very popular for this to this day. It's also used to treat acne scars, UV damage, pigmentation issues, and to enhance the absorption of topical medications. With all these different applications, it eventually made its way over to the hair loss world. In 2013, a team of doctors out of India thought of combining standard minoxidil treatment with weekly microneedling sessions. So balding men applied topical minoxidil daily and once a week they had their scalps microneedled. There was also a control group that applied minoxidil without any microneedling and the results were seriously impressive. The average regrowth in the minoxidil only group was 22 new hairs per centimeter squared in the thinning areas compared to a whopping 91 new hairs per centimeter squared for the combination group. Every single man who microneedled had some regrowth, sometimes and often dramatic. The study also gave us some of the most impressive before and after photos found in the Hellos literature up to that point. Some of the men achieved near complete restoration of their hair. Subsequent studies replicated and expanded on these original results, establishing microneedling plus minoxidil as one of the most powerful hair loss treatments that we have today. Recently, we also got the first studies testing microneedling as a standalone treatment, aka without any minoxidil whatsoever. They found that microneedling stimulates hair growth on its own probably by inducing growth factors like VEGF, which promote the creation of new blood vessels in the scalp. This translates to increased blood flow, which is crucial because impaired blood flow is one of the hallmarks of a balding scalp. Having said that, the regrowth you can expect from standalone microneedling will be far less impressive than if you combine it with minoxidil. Now, the advantages of microneedling are straightforward. It's a low-cost intervention that you can do in the comfort of your own home without a doctor's prescription. Aside from the minoxidil, a derma roller is all you need, and these cost basically next to nothing. Microneedling also isn't very time-consuming. While the early treatment phase is typically once weekly, it reduces to once every two to three weeks during the maintenance phase. Lastly, there are no systemic side effects from microneedling per se, though some users may experience these from minoxidil. Having said that, it is far from a wonder treatment. The main problem is that it's unpleasant, inconvenient, and rather tedious. After all, you are poking holes in your head with something that somewhat resembles a torture device. Even doing it once a month can eventually feel like a massive hassle. You have to carefully wash your head and then sterilize the derma roller prior to treatment and then clean it up again when you're done. And your head is gonna look like a bit of a mess in the immediate aftermath. If the device isn't properly sterilized or the skin isn't thoroughly cleaned, there is a small risk of scalp infection. Another potential issue is folliculitis, where the hair follicles become inflamed, potentially leading to more hair loss. And probably the biggest issue Ultimately, we have no idea what effect regular microneedling over 5, 10, or 15 years might have on the scalp. There is no long-term safety data regarding repeated puncturing of the skin, even if the holes are tiny. These factors combined will lead many guys to either eventually abandon microneedling 
or avoid it altogether in the first place. The good news is there are other options that are both effective and without the pain and discomfort of microneedling. Starting with a very simple tool called the scalp brush, which some people also use as a scalp massager. This is a simple tool with fairly soft bristles that exfoliates the scalp and removes buildup. It also gently stimulates the skin, increasing blood flow on the surface. The best part is that you don't have to set up a separate time to use the scalp brush as you would do with microneedling. Simply brush your scalp and then use the minoxidil straight after. There's very little extra time spent, there's no reddening and there's no holes in your skin and no pain. The great thing is you'll certainly feel a difference in the amount of minoxidil being absorbed into the dermis, which is one of the most important things with the minoxidil because of its very low absorption. You can also use it in a shower like when you're shampooing. Many guys with hair loss swear by this little device saying it makes a real dramatic difference in how much of minoxidil is being absorbed into the scalp. So if you're looking for micro needling alternatives, then I wholeheartedly suggest that you give this a try. Now, for a slightly different approach that offers a more comprehensive treatment, you can try the grow band. The motion of inflation and deflation of the grow band causes the scalp to move up and then down, releasing any tension and pushing blood back into the scalp. In just 10 minutes per day, you give your head a vigorous massage that promotes increased blood flow and increases growth factors. Since the grow band is fully automated, it solves a major problem facing men who do classic manual scalp massages with their hands, which is boredom and tiredness. This is crucial because we have studies showing that you need a total of 36 hours of cumulative massage time to really start seeing a visible difference. It's the ultimate combination to stimulate the scalp, improve blood flow, reduce fibrosis without the pain of microneedling. I used to use a derm roller, but to be honest, I haven't used one for at least a year. But what I do do is use the scalp brush and then I use the grow band and that helps absorb topicals better it helps improve blood flow. And again, like I just said, it reduces that fibrosis, which is critical to reversing hair loss. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. If you do have a comment or a question, leave it down below. I'll personally answer all the good questions. If you've got a friend with hair loss, then share this video with them. Browse the channel for our other amazing videos, and I'll see you in the next video.